A Tom Collins? Yeah, yeah and I'm gonna have a whiskey sour. On that drink, you said Tom Palmer, right? Tom Palmer? No. <laughs> she getting confused with Arnold Palmer, a non-alcoholic drink? How do you not? What the, what the heck is a Tom Palmer? What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video, and today we're gonna watch another episode of Bar Rescue. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's go check this out. There it is, Characters Quarters. It's Characters Quarters, man. I understand that the employees dress as characters. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's like a kid's place. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is this a bar or is this like a family-friendly restaurant? You have adults dressed up as characters? That's kind of strange to name your restaurant after the theme. That's like instead of saying Chuck E. Cheese, it's, it's called Ball Pit and Robots Restaurant. Ball <laughs> There's Guy. is the son that's running it. He's the manager. There's Helen, Guy's mom, and Charlie. Charlie is the stepdad. There's Alex, the sister. Her and her brother love to go at it in front of customers, in front of anybody. I've had this place on. So the whole family's working here? That sounds like a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna sit in here. I'm gonna sit right here. Hey. Hey. And if she's outside smoking. You gonna do this in front of the camera? The caveat is just smoking cigarettes. Just a slap in the face, dude. What? It's a slap in the face. Dude, I wasn't even trying. No, I don't care. She's crying. She's like attacking her. Jeez. I mean, yeah, you you shouldn't be smoking at work. Don't make your sister cry. So what? Just hanging out, smoking a cigarette. Everybody else is working. Stop up. Get on your game. Smoking on the cigarette. Get out of here. I don't give a fuck what Tom says. Smoking nothing. Like that. Jeez. First, you shouldn't talk to your employees like that. And two, you shouldn't talk to your sister like that. A 4,200 square foot space featuring a C-shaped bar with two service stations and 12 beers on tap, a raised stage area, and a front patio with no furniture. Why would you have no furniture? So you're just gonna have the guests stand there? Place characters. Right. But they're not characters. <laughs> they walk, talk, and act like themselves. That's just how it. They don't get into it, and the customer's not there. Sure. Yeah, that's just dress up. Can I get a Tom Collins, please? A Tom Collins? Yeah, yeah and I'm gonna have a whiskey sour. On that drink, you said Tom Palmer, right? Tom Palmer? No. <laughs> she getting confused with Arnold Palmer, a non-alcoholic drink? How do you not? What the, what the heck is a Tom Palmer? It's Tom Collins. It's a very common drink. Wait, what is she doing? She's like rolling the drink back and forth? It should be shaken. These are like Coney Island hot dogs here. I kind of was hoping they'd have more like southern. Jeez, that menu's huge. It's like a chain restaurant menu. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, the ribeye steak here. I'm gonna do the baby back ribs too. Yeah, yeah it's two sides of that. Oh, where are we have, um, um, don't tell me she's reading off the menu. No, you have to know your food. The customers don't have any problems reading. Uh, just about everything that you can think of. Um... She has no idea what she's talking about. Like, she's completely winging it. Bit of a Do you have anything southern on the menu, or? The smothered chicken, is that southern? She's sitting with the customers, what? This is... She's sitting down next to the customer. Like, what is she doing? Dude, we're at 86 in the ribeye. And you know what? We're at we're at a ribeye right now. Get out of town. Uh, how you you gotta have lineup and pay attention to what you're out of, especially with a menu that big. You should write everything down. I'm just gonna go with the, the big, uh, the big guy's, guy's big, big dog. Okay. So we went from ordering an entree and having a, a, a larger check, to now we're just gonna get a little hot dog. Yeah. So yeah, instead of ordering a full entree, she downgrades his food item to an appetizer. The server isn't just an order taker. The server needs to guide the guest's experience. Like, those two food items are nothing alike. First day in a job today, huh? You know, look at the board, man. All right. I mean. I won't let it happen again, right. whatever. I'm man. Oh, she just dropped, she's, she's pissed. Something. You're all jittery, what is it? She's just gonna leave trash like that on the floor for someone to slip on. You're like, relax. Dude. Oh, easy, easy with the Dude, mouth. Dude, like, just chill. Just let's go. Dude. Every thing I do. I want you to get your head out of your ass is what I want you to do. 
Dude, you can't be talking like that in front of... You can't talk to anyone like that. Oh, wow. Hey guys, big dog right oh, here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Let's see how this food's going. That's a hot dog? More water, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, thank you. Bringing, bringing the old glass back to the, yeah. the, to the water. You can't take something that the guests already put their mouths on and going up to this... It's not sanitary. Get a fresh cop. Oh, I'm sorry. Just you keep getting just, on me about everything, I, dude. I know, because it's this... All right, I got you're, it. You're trying to pet... <laughs> you left, though. Like, this is funny. You got to be higher and fire. Everything changes. Look at the frustration in this family. Look, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to mom. Wow, this is... Nobody here is professional. Everything is like, whose side are you gonna take? The brother or the sister? It's not even about who's right or who's wrong, or what's professional and what is not. You wanna stay? Are you sure you don't want another drink? Come on, just one more, please. You can't force or pressure your guests like that, especially if there's alcohol in it. Had you ever been in a restaurant or bar business before? No. It was more of a, you know, a dream, obviously, with, with parents willing to help. So how so you got four family members, which is a recipe for disaster already, and now you have nobody with any experience running a restaurant. Let me tell you what I saw tonight. The couple that ordered the ribeye that was 86, those are my spies. You went up to the table, they said you were an incredible sweetheart, but you don't know anything. Yeah, you know, she's a nice person, but she doesn't even know her own food items. She wasn't paying attention on the board on what is 86 or any modifications for the food. And even with the menu in front of her, she couldn't even find the sides. Like she doesn't even know the organization of her own menu. She fails and then you beat the out of her for it. That's how you see it? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. He's like demeaning her, demoralizing her, taking out his own frustrations at her. And then when you're Emotionally abusing your employees like this, it makes them not want to learn. You should be rewarding them for learning, not punishing them for their mistakes. That's what I saw. You feel that he's being mean to you? Jeez, man, you just made your sister cry. Does he, like, not feel bad about this? It's a hard shell. That's I just want to just press the cruise control button and just hang out. No, I'll just get fired and I'll come back. That's I try my best to do it the best I can. She doesn't have a clue what she's doing or what, what's going on. Have you trained her? There are things as far as training that probably slipped through the cracks, which... So it's your fault. <laughs> you, you're not giving her the tools for success. Probably shouldn't. You're keeping her weak by not training her. So I'm going to suggest that what's going on... Yeah, it's almost like he's doing this on purpose. So she can take out his frustrations on her. You want your sister to work here? I don't know. We've had issues even before characters. My past history is not too good. You know, it's been tough with family. It's been broken decisions that she's made. Because I didn't, like, I try to do my best. <sighs> Man, this, you know, she's had a rough history. I mean, yeah, like she'll make mistakes and stuff, but you know, as a brother, you should be helping her get back on her feet. Like what he's doing is extremely cruel. Not only is he taking out his own frustrations at her, he's even using her past against her. Like, like that's not cool, especially because you're the freaking brother. I don't mean to let you down. <laughs> Dad, this is a broken record. You're holding every- God, what is wrong with this guy? He's really gonna do that, sitting next to her while she's crying? Where are you today? The warrior princess. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of those generic names of costumes in those Halloween stores. Are you running out of things that are not food items? Any kind of supplies? Like what? Name that. We run Shrugs? out of toasters? What yeah. about Bev Naps? Yeah. We don't want to have that. So what? What? How do you not have Bev naps? Like, they don't even know what they don't have. We, we could go back there and look at napkins that have been sitting there for six months right now that no one even realizes they're there, but they know, they, they walk by them every day. That Whose fault is that? Well, I guess mine. They, they know. How hard is it? If you know where it is, then why don't you just get it for them? Like, is he trying to, like, not let anyone 
succeed? Like, is he doing this on purpose? No, it's there. They do know it's there. They play dumb like it's not there. We're gonna tell me we're out of this stupid <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? It's a little- Why would they pretend to not know where the napkins are? Like, what, what, why would they do that? Just, you think that they're really doing this on purpose to get at you? It can and does get complacent around here. And sometimes they need a kick in the butt for it. But we need a kick in the butt, but you're looking down on all of us and yell at us and flip out out of nowhere when you can't even communicate with us. Yeah, you're not supposed to knock them down. Motivate them to do stuff like cleaning. Don't insult them or make them cry. That, that It just makes them not want to be there. And do customers see it when it happens? Yeah, they have. That's where it really gets sure. cool. Are you with me? Fair enough. Yeah, that's really bad. Especially when the customers see it, they're not going to come back. Oh, this the owner treats his employees like this. Like, why would I want to support his business? So, by taking a look, you know, a couple things I saw. Your boards. Look at that. Oh my god. That crap is just building up. Ugh. Like that's going on every single food item that touches that board. Lots of portioned products, lots of pre-made products. What are these? Those are just kid burgers. This really pisses me off. Yeah, we're serving this to kids. Did you serve this to your child? No. Wow, it's... not only do they not look good, but the portions are not in the same size. Look at these items. This is open. This is open. It's all garbage. You gotta write your... When you open a package, you gotta put a date on it so someone knows that that, you know, how old that is. Instead of just opening random packages, now you have all these open items that will have to get tossed because nobody knows how old they are. Garbage. What's this? Feel it. Garbage. Garbage. Yeah, I'm just throwing all the food all over the place. Damn, even the bread is frozen? Your P-Mix is something that you should go through and take a look at on a monthly basis. The number one selling item that you guys have is the classic burger. My lowest selling item is the Italian. There's no need to even have it on the menu because it just doesn't sell, so we're holding inventory. Yeah, waste of space. Yeah, it's important to look at what's selling, what's not, because especially with a menu that big, you're gonna have inventory just sitting there for months, if not years, that's not even gonna get sold anyways. That other more profitable items could be uh, using that space. Characters Quarters offers more than 55 items on its menu, but 60% of its sales come from just five items. Fur See, like, how, even without the computer, they could have talked to the servers and they could have told them that. Like, this kind of information is really, really important. That's not even rocket science. You should be emphasizing, you know, keeping the things that sell well and getting rid of things that don't. A smaller menu is not only a less clutter, so the guests will know exactly what they want. It'll also improve the, the flow of service, also reduce the size of inventory that you have to have in the, the walk-in cooler and a walk-in freezer, as well as the dry storage. Put sour mix. Make sure you hit it to the meniscus. A little bit more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So you're gonna ice. Whoa, whoa. Oh, she was gonna shake that without ice. It's, you're making it in a pint glass. You can see that there's no ice in there. Whitney was struggling with the multiple cocktails. A little higher up there on the brim. Ah, it's so cool. She's really gonna have. So she never knew how to break the shaker before. This is nuts. Tom Collins, we have sour whiskey, and we have um, the... You mean whiskey sour? Um, hold on, excuse me, I have the... <laughs> oh my goodness. The Harvey, the Harvey headbanger. <laughs> if you can't remember these things, you gotta write it down somewhere. Oh, there's only three drinks. Got Tom Collins, Whiskey Sour, and a Harvey Wallbanger. That's it. How you doing, Al? I'm all right. I, I, I forgot a drink for table 30, 63, I forgot, uh, 62, I forgot what uh, type of... Um... Well, go to the table and ask okay. if you forgot. Okay, okay. Water right here. Write everything down. Doesn't matter if it's just water. Like, write everything down. Because if it gets busy, you're not going to remember which drinks go to which table. She's a speed demon. She's your best. Brooke's killing it on the bar. Whitney's getting swamped on the waitress station. And Whitney, all these drinks down the floor. Why are they putting the slower bartender on the service station? Half the room is unserved. Come on, girl. Brooke's slaying it over here. You're, you're literally sticking it quick then. 39, 40, 41. You're 41 drinks behind right now. Whoa, 41 drinks behind. These are not that complicated. This is not going to be three ribs. I think Guy said it was going to be two ribs. Did you take that order? Yeah. Server rang it in the Dude, even for the food items, write everything down. Excuse me about that. I'll be right back to clean that up. 51 food. I have a cheeseburger with french fries, lettuce, tomato, onions. No, not right here. Do not auction 
Ugh. If you don't remember where the food goes, go back and look at the ticket. Like, don't try to improvise in front of the guests. Um, what am I missing right now? Drinks? Drinks. Maybe get Oh, the drinks have to arrive first. Okay, what are well, we doing here? Okay, for, see, my table is right here, 23. I, I rang in that and I didn't come get you yet, so I put it on this table. We start mix matching tables. I, I and have <sighs> Write everything down, not just the food order, but also the table number. Table 63 and 64 are close to each other, but you can't mix the orders up. Because if you, even if you somehow figure out where the food goes by auctioning off the food, which you shouldn't be doing, when it's time to drop off the checks, they're going to be completely off. Alex is putting the wrong stuff into the POS system, but she don't even know the tables that she's doing. So all I'm doing right now is losing money and eating tickets. Listen to me. Yeah, right now it's just damage control. There's no money to be made. Especially when you start to comp off the food items, comping off drinks because of all these mistakes. And when these guys are looking at their bill and having to correct the server, hey, I didn't order this, I didn't order this. They're not gonna come back because they they don't want to pay for someone else's food or drinks. Listen to me. I I'm, had to go over I'm working twice. my butt off right now, making your ass all your mistakes right now. But you keep, you keep okay. dragging me. I got three other people and two bartenders in a way off. Jeez, okay, she's screwing up, but yelling at her in front of guests, that's not gonna help the situation. It's gonna make it even worse. Well, guys, it's one of the worst stress tests I've ever seen. It took us an hour to get drinks out of the bar. What do you have to An hour? Are you kidding me? Like, an hour to make three basic cocktails. The, making the drinks the, the way that we were taught today, I, I don't know. Um, she didn't have a problem. I know. You did. I did have a problem. You know, dude, all the drinks are shaken, all right? It's not the drinks that messed, that slowed you down. Over here, you're 41 drinks behind right now. What do you do, Mr. Boss? You should fire him. Do it. When he's... Oh, I mean, that's, I, uh, that's kind of hard to fire someone for being slow. You could always retrain them and, you know, unless she's been warm before, like, this is like... I think too harsh. So, you guys ready to see it? Yes. All right, an account of bad ass. A whole new look out here. Wood railings, seating in front. Suddenly, it's the kind of place where you don't expect. That looks so much better. It's more rustic, more southern. This one appeals more to the locals. Oh, oh, look at oh. oh. oh that's cool. They have a fake still too. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.